One of the things that I'm very excited about with Blender 2.8 is collections. And I know it's not really an Eevee thing, but it has changed the way that I work. And it's been one of the things that has defined my workflow in 2.8 and Eevee. So I think it's important to mention. The outliner in 2.8 has been completely overhauled. Say goodbye to layers and groups. Say hello to collections. You can add a new collection just by hitting this button. Or you can right click and just click new. Yes, the organizational benefits are awesome and I won't downplay that, but what I'm much more excited about is the fact that it's made instancing objects much more accessible and much more intuitive. Here I've added just a cube on top of our original cube here. Let's extrude it a little and bevel it, just something simple. But now I'm gonna move this cube into a collection. Let's call it side one. If I go to the add menu now under collection instance, you'll find side one. Adding it just gives us what we expect, an instance of that object. Let's clear the location and duplicate it around the sides of this cube really quick. Now, if I do anything to our object, it's gonna update all of the instances in real time as we're working. It's pretty awesome, right? This isn't anything necessarily new to Blender, by the way. You've always been able to instance groups. But what is new is the accessibility and the fact that they've made it much more intuitive and easy to use. It's just been cleaned up quite a bit. Again, yes, it is also super great for organization, by the way. You can see that I can put collections within collections, and that's just awesome. I'm gonna drop this stuff in here and hide it. Okay, now, this is one of the things that's not super intuitive, is that whatever collection you have activated is the one that you are working in. If I add an object right now, you'll see that nothing happens. Turns out it's because I have this example one collection selected slash active. Anything I add will be put in there, even though it's hidden. I promise that this is gonna mess you up. It messes me up every day. Just be aware of what collection you have selected is important. So one of the neat things about collections is that simple transforms work really well on them. Here I've added a quick speaker thing. I'm gonna add a new collection. In that collection, I'm gonna add a cylinder, pretend this is a screw. I'm just gonna duplicate it around just to just round. Okay, all of these objects are in my new collection. I'm gonna add a new instance and clear it here. Instead of rotating or moving it though, I'm gonna scale it on the negative axis. This is gonna mirror it across the speaker. Collections work really well for this and it's something I use them for every day. You can see that as long as I keep working in this collection, it continues to mirror the geometry around. Okay, one more example. I'm gonna add a curve here and I'm gonna extrude it a little bit. I might duplicate the geometry here and adjust it with an extrude, just to make it a little interesting. Now I'm gonna create a collection for these dudes and I'm gonna add an instance. You'll see that I've just rotated it here. Radial symmetry, nothing crazy. That's actually just a little bit boring. I'm gonna model it just a little bit more. Okay, but turns out instances are based on the world origin. If I grab the original curves and move them, you'll see that all of the other instances are offset as well. We can get some really interesting shapes this way really quickly. Collections are super exciting and I'm having a whole lot of fun with them. If I open up the claw machine file, you'll see that I've got them all over the place. This screw collection has a bunch of screws that I mirrored across the object. Ain't nobody got time to place all those screws. I also used radial instancing here for their claw object. You can see it here with the pincers. Modeling this way makes it really easy to adjust afterwards. If I just duplicate this a couple times, it would be really easy to create just a real monster of a claw. And that's kind of an overview of uh, instances. They're fun and their accessibility has changed the way I model. Additional benefits include the memory savings in your file from duplicating the geometry, which is a big deal if you're working with GPU rendering a lot, but it does just keep your file size down as a concept. In the next episode, we're gonna jump into Eevee proper, so be excited.